Hello, my name is David Babbitt with One Identity. In this video, we will review the steps to import the DigiKey Go7 hardware token license. The steps reviewed in this video will be import the hardware token license and data key, explain the difference between the hardware tokens. This video assumes that Defender is installed and that the Defender security service is installed and running. Also, the Defender Management Console must also be installed. The hardware token license will come via email in the form of a .dpx file that needs to be imported. Hardware tokens include the DigiPass Ghost 3, Ghost 6, and Go 7. In addition to the .dpx files provided to import hardware tokens, a data key is required which is included with your physical shipment the database key is provided on paper inside and listed on the package. This Defender's token serial number is used to associate the token with a user and can be used for later reference or for tracking purposes. Now I will show you the process how to import the Defender token serial numbers into Active Directory. To begin, open Active Directory Users at Computers. In the Users and Computers tree, highlight the Defender OU container, then click the Defender menu item at the top of the Active Directory Users and Computers. Select Import Tokens from the menu. If the Welcome to the Defender Token Import Wizard dialog box is displayed, click Next. The Defender Import Wizard File and Key dialog box is displayed. Click Browse to navigate to the directory where the file containing the Defender token definitions is located. The zip file you received may contain two folders with files within, no static and static PW. The no static file is used when you require only the token numbers to be used for hard token authentication. The static PW file is used if you optionally require a PIN number along with the token code number when authenticating with a hard token. In this example, we will choose the export.dbx file provided in the noStatic directory to import the Go7 token serial numbers. Click Paste to paste the data key into the key file and import the file into the file field. Note, you will have to manually enter the data key as this will be physically provided to you with the shipped tokens. Either the keys will be printed on a list or on a label outside the package. Click Next. The Defender Import Wizard Available Tokens dialog box is displayed. Click on one, two, or three or more or select all to import all available tokens. I'm going to go ahead and choose Select All. Click Next. The Defender Import Wizard Storage Location dialog box is displayed. Click Select to navigate to the location where the import tokens will be stored. Alternatively, click Next to accept the default location and continue. This is typically the Defender Tokens folder in the Defender OU. The Defender Import Wizard Import Progress dialog box is displayed. Click Next. The Defender Import Wizard Import Complete dialog box is displayed. Click Finish. For further information, please refer to the Defender Tokens User Guide available for download at software.oneidentity.com forward slash support. This concludes the video tutorial on how to import a Go7 hardware token.